You can't get a job without experience and you can't get experience without a job. Urgh! This is one of the phrases I hear over and over again, especially from people in the actuarial field. And usually I hear this from people that are looking for an actuarial job, but haven't had much success up to this point. The mindset behind this phrase is just coming from such a hopeless, doomed place. It makes it sound like there's nothing they can do about the situation. I feel for these future actuaries, I really do, because finding an actuarial job isn't easy. There's so much you have to do to go from the beginner phase into the rising and then the intermediate phase and then become a top candidate to get your first job. But complaining and feeling down about the particular situation you're in is not the way to go because you actually are very empowered. You have 100% control over your fate in the actuarial field. I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator community where we train future actuaries how to become top candidates and get their very first actuarial job without an internship. Whether you're searching for an actuarial job right now and not having much success, or if you are in the early stages of your actuarial journey, this video is so important for you because gaining experience that is relevant to the actuarial career will definitely help you in getting an actuarial job later. But you might be wondering, how? How do you get related experience? And if that is a question that is on your mind, give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Like I mentioned earlier, in the Actuary Accelerator community, we use a method called the Top Candidate Method to help future actuaries gain the qualifications that they need in order to stand out in the competitive actuarial job market. Well, this method starts in the beginner phase. It's where everyone starts because they are really just learning about the actuarial career and really trying to figure out whether it's right for them or not. Then they move on to the rising candidate phase. And then after that goes into the intermediate phase. This is where they really start to specialize in the actuarial field and then move on to the top candidate phase where they gain all the little other qualifications that are really going to boost their candidacy for actuarial positions. Now, right here in the rising candidate phase is sort of the foundational stage. This is where our members, we call them ACERs, A-A-C-ers, set the groundwork for their actuarial qualifications. This is the stage where we recommend that they start looking for some related experience. Now, when I say related experience, I don't necessarily mean an actuarial internship or actuarial experience for that matter. Actuarial internships are great, but it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to find one so early on in your journey in the rising candidate phase. We call jobs where you gain related experience stepping stone positions. These aren't actuarial in nature, but they do often allow you to learn and gain on the job knowledge and experience in different things like Microsoft Excel, data analysis, financial statements, insurance concepts, leadership, communication in the workplace, presentations, project management, a programming language. The good news is that stepping stone positions tend to be easier to get than actuarial jobs. And that's because, well, there are way more of them available. The competition is lower and the qualifications to get these stepping stone positions aren't usually as high as they would be for an actuarial position. So this means even if you don't have any related experience right now, or if you have experience that's very unrelated to the actuarial career, you can go out and get a stepping stone position and that's going to really boost your chances of being able to get an actuarial job later. And by the way, if you are a member of the Actuary Accelerator community, you can now get access to our stepping stone position quiz. And this is going to help you figure out if the stepping stone positions you are considering while you're in the rising candidate phase are really stepping stone positions or not. So, does no experience really mean no actuarial job? I mean, all of these job postings I'm showing on the screen right now, they say that experience is wanted and some of them even specify that actuarial experience is wanted. And the answer is that no, absolutely not. Just because a job posting says that they want someone with experience, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not willing to deviate. Usually job postings state the requirements for the ideal candidate, and that's not always going to be someone that they can necessarily find. So they are willing to hire someone that doesn't necessarily have all the qualifications that are stated. However, for these jobs that do say that they would prefer someone with experience, your stepping stone position experience is really going to help boost your candidacy for those particular jobs. And over and over again, we've shared success stories on this channel of members who have been able to get actuarial jobs without having any actuarial experience or internship. For example, there was 
Emma. She worked as a data analyst for a while before she got her actuarial job. There was also Denise who worked as a teacher. So these stepping stone positions are great ways to boost your candidacy for actuarial positions. And essentially, if you have all the other qualifications of a top candidate, stepping stone position experience is going to be basically just as good as actuarial experience too. So now do yourself a favor and go get some related experience no matter what stage of your actuarial journey you're in. This is one of the most important things you can do for your qualifications. If you want to learn more about stepping stone jobs and how they can help you increase your chances of getting an actuarial job, then go check out this video next. And remember, you have 100% control over your qualifications and your qualifications are what is eventually going to get you your actuarial dream job. That's all for this week. Bye for now.